Hey everyone, and welcome to Tuesday, December 12th, another exciting episode of Vlogmas. Again, a work day, not a whole lot happened. Plus, as I'm editing this, I'm not sure if I'm coming down with a cold or a what, but my voice kind of feels like trash, which means I might not do a whole lot of recording and or talking today. I think we all know that's a lie, especially given that we got to open our big skein for the Barbie Land mystery shawl, and I am in love, so I might need to talk to an adult about <laughs> my excitement over that one. Um, but in general, yeah, I'm not sure if, you know, our weekend in Philly caused me to come down with something or if it's just my typical, uh, hey, it's getting colder outside and so now my sinuses need to get mad about it. And I guess we'll see as the day goes on how that goes. But for the most part, I'm going to try not to talk unless I have to today. I'm sure, honestly, that Scott is thrilled about that. Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you. Okay, so I finished the butterfly heels on both of my fairground socks using my Cozy Knitter Advent, and I am officially in love. I love this colorway. I love everything about it. It took some warming up because of the whole thing where you can't differentiate the stripes or whatever, but... It's looking kind of amazing and again this pattern lends itself really well to the stripes and now that I'm in the groove it's just really fun to work on for about a half hour every morning. I am asking you not to judge me by what I'm watching while I was doing some knitting after work today, but when life gets hectic, I turn to one of my favorite comfort YouTube genres, which is Goral Tube. And if you are at all familiar with that, it consists of people like Foodie Beauty, Amberlynn Reed, essentially these horrible women <laughs> who started out as weight loss channels and just turned into a, a spectacle. And there are a lot of reaction channels for them and I tend to watch those reaction channels when I'm really stressed out because like you don't have to pay attention and they're just kind of funny and who doesn't like some weird snarky gossip when things hit the fan so after work today I sat down and worked on my go-go throw for a bit which I'm still really loving and tuned in to my favorite Amberlynn gossip channel which is narc alert if you want to check it out we're halfway through uh, sort of yeah Sort of. And let, do you have one on the 25th? I mean, it's basically oh, halfway through. No, I guess through. I don't. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It's, it's not halfway through until I get this thing out of here. Okay. So, never. <laughs> Ooh. What is it? Okay, so this is a local brewery that I haven't had yet. I haven't tried anything from them. Wait, who? Jim Thorpe. Oh. They're literally like... 30 yeah. minutes away. Yep, it looks really cool. It's Jim Thorpe Coal, coal cracker. cracker. It's a hazy IPA, so. That's what they called us growing up. We were from the Coal Cracker region. Notes of citrus, berry, and pine, so it should be interesting. Looks know. nice. I don't know how hazy I call it. I, it looks pretty hazy from this angle. Not bad. Who knocked over my ice sculpture? What is it? It's a Lego. Is it a fun one? They're all fun ones. It's Lego. 
You've been whining a lot lately. I don't know. <laughs> Is it a robot reindeer? It might be. It sure looks like it's one. It's kind of cute. Wait, just turn his head around. He's cute. He should be Rudolph, though. What? How do you get this off? Three hours later. No, I did it again. Where do you think this goes? Maybe it goes in the corner here. Caddy corner. Oh, these are me again. So many. I think they got a good deal. Did they get like a bag of ornaments? <laughs> Whiskey bottle, another. Do we need to get glass, another Scott's mystery? Another glass. Um, you were like mad the other day, not listening to me, or busy at work, or whatever. I told you that it looked like my tree was too small. And Words that people never thought you would completely say. Completely missed it. Okay, Tony, don't let me down. Oh, so I'm gonna get the chocolate first and then read the thing because that spoiled the double for me yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. You were disappointed. Yeah, then I knew it wasn't a surprise. You were disappointed that you got double chocolate? What is it? I caught a glimpse of something. I don't understand. Is it coal? No tiny here. But hey, don't eat the messenger. I want to know why this window is empty. Look at number 12 on the pit. Oh no, page. you should have read it first. Not much to find in there, huh? Bummer. The chocolate industry is unequally divided. So our calendar is two. Scan the QR code and we'll explain why there is no tiny Tony in here. I'm done with this calendar. It's your day. Um... I think I want the Christmas tree. Okay. That's a cute one. Yeah. I like this one. It reminds me of my Oma's Santa yeah. advent a little bit. It was nowhere near like this, but... Today's Disney villain tarot card ornament was the Haunted Mansion. And for all y'all Disney connoisseurs, yes, this is the Disneyland one, not the Disney World one, which is kind of New Orleans plantation themed and it's really pretty but I haven't been there maybe someday maybe the best part of my day and what comes my nerves after a long day of work is watching just how excited these stupid dogs get about their treats they are just I don't know they're so innocent they're adorable Ziggy's little tush bush is just out of control and I don't know, it's fun to see them get excited about the holiday season too, even though they have no idea. So let's talk about this David's Tea Advent Calendar. I, this was a choice. Um, I really liked last year's calendar, this year's not so much. So I'm on the market for a new one if any of you have any recommendations, but essentially I poured this tea and immediately had Scott make me a gin and tonic instead. But yeah, overall, a pretty uneventful Tuesday. Thankfully, I'm tired of stressful days. I got some knitting in, which was great. So we'll see what tomorrow brings. And when it comes, I will see you then. Have a great one. Bye.